I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be my top 10 favorite scenes from The Walking Dead Season 9 through Season 10A. That is the first half of Season 10. So, if you guys like this kind of video, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do the first 1 through 8. And, yeah, so, for new, let's dive on in. So, we're going to start out with number 10. It is Season 9, Episode 8. This is the mid-season finale. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. It was a really good, there was a lot of good scenes with, um, they reviewed the Whispers for the very first time, and with Jesus' death and like throughout the scene they were building up to review the whispers and stuff and it was really a good mid season finale with a reveal of another group, a new group, a new threat and also with a big character death. So that is for number 10. That is season 9 episode 8. So for number 9 it's going to be season 9, episode 11. This was with when we, the Whispers and Alphok was interacting with the Hilltop. And there was a big scene with a, a woman that had her baby. And she left her baby to pretty much get eaten by the walkers because Alpha told her so. So this is, was a big, really, scene that I liked in this episode of Connie going out to save this baby before it was devoured. And then they, some of the people from the hilltop had to go rescue Connie and this baby. And Samantha Morton, that plays Alpha, she really killed this scene, was, um was pretty cool and she really so far has played amazing with alpha and this scene right there was really getting your nerves up of what's going to happen is connie and this baby going to die because this baby is crying and here was some walkers and stuff but yeah that is number nine is season nine episode 11. so number eight is going to be Season 10, episode 6. This was when um, they captured Negan, bringing Negan back to the Whisper Camp. And pretty much Negan was pretty much roasting them or just being Negan in general was talking about the Whispers. And, ne and pretty much Bane was done with his bullcrap and pretty much threatened Negan. And I really enjoyed this episode in generally with between Negan and Beta and it was a very good episode and this was a pretty cool scene to start off this episode. So that is number 8, that is season 10, episode 6. So number 7 is going to be season 9, episode 5. This was a really big episode in general because of Rick and stuff. So, that was pretty much this, what this is, is the aftermath of Rick, know, and knowing that everybody thinks he is dead, but he's actually alive and stuff. And then they reviewed this big time jump of uh, older Judith and having this new group, the Magnus group and stuff. So, I think it was pretty cool with not having Rick or Carl on the show. So I think they done wonderfully done this time jump and having an older Judith. I really enjoyed Judith's character and just having a Grimes introducing a new phase after the big aftermath of Rick. And so yeah, that is so, for number 7, this was Season 9, Episode 5. So, for number 6, this is for Season 10, Episode 5. This was a based off on Negan's episode after he escaped and stuff. So, these things right here, this is what made number 6 was when Negan had to kill Brandon because of Brandon killing the mother and son. And then getting Lucille point two. And he just went on to cross the Whisper border and he met the Whisper. So, 
Um, this scene was really, really intense because Negan wanted to do something good to help take, somehow take the mother and son close to the hilltop. And Brandon was being a really sick way and Negan had to kill Brandon. So, that was a very good scene. I really enjoyed that scene right there with Negan had to kill Brandon and stuff. And then he just like switched like that after getting his leather jacket and Lucille that Lucy 2.0 so that is number six and that was for season 10 episode five so for number five this is, will be season nine episode five again with Rick having all these hallucinations and overall this episode in general was a really good episode but when uh, Rick had the solution with uh, moments with Shane, with Sasha, with Herschel and stuff. And I really enjoyed them moments, but really was standing out with the Shane moments with him and talking to Shane in the police car about everything went through with Judith. And I love that moment with, between Shane and Rick because... Yeah, that would remind you of earlier seasons when they started out and John Burns off by that place, Shane and Andrew Lincoln that place. Rick was a really wonderful performance of both the characters and also with uh, the moments with Herschel and Rick. That was a real wonderful moment too and both actors played both characters was wonderful. So that was number five. That was season nine, episode five. So number four is going to be season ten, episode six. This is when Nigga introduces himself to Alpha for the very first, first time. And this scene leading up to it with Alpha and Beta talking with the plan they they was trying to get rid of Negan to prove that he was weak and stuff. And here comes Negan all covered in blood with him having a, I don't know if he had Lucille 2.0 or a big ass stick or something, but him coming, having this big dialogue and with, and then coming up to Alpha, it's like, hey, my name's Negan, I know who you are, and just got down on his knees and just proved that his loyalty and that there, that whole scene right there was just pretty much awesomeness and to drop the ball of that whole moment. Everybody's just like, holy shit, he survived that with that herd that they, him and Beta had earlier seen with that. So that was a pretty awesome scene to see. So that was number four, season 10, episode six. So we're in the top three of my favorite scenes from season 9 through season 10a so for number three this is going to be season 9 episode 5 this is when maggie confronts negan so this scene was very very intense emotional and stuff um this was kind of a scene from the comics they remaked it a little bit but it played out wonderfully because we've been like wanted to see this kind of moment since uh, season 8 with Rick keeping Negan alive and Maggie and Daryl and them doesn't, did not really went on board with that and you can see that throughout and then having that moment after they killed a rot and that right there confirms that Maggie had determination to confront Negan. She had set mind to kill Negan after she confronted him and that was really intense of so, Negan being Negan and sh having herself in the shadow and she kept on saying come up to me and Negan knew who she was and then like her th pushing him throwing him out of the cell and him just freaking bro broke down that he said just kill me already kill me just kept on saying kill me that he can be with Lucille his wife and she pretty much like well, this is not the same Negan that I have seen a prior year or two before that, and he's pretty much broken. She's like, it ain't worth killing you, so I want you to suffer. So, because he was pretty much broken at this point, so 
that scene was that's why it's number three it was a really good scene in season nine so that is number three season nine episode five so number two and number one was really really hard i went back and forth on number one and number two but that's the reason why they're at one and two so number two is going to be season nine episode 15 the big episode that is the head on spike review and this episode was really cool it was based off the comics and they remade it but it was just really drop the dang ball when they review who was their heads on the spot and he just went panel by each person and it revealed like the last three like Enoch and Tara and then Henry it just built up and it was wonderful the characters played wonderful they revealed the really cool characters they could kill off you would least suspect it and stuff and it just went back forth to the fire and to that and it just it just built up wonderfully and it just had that after effect of shockness and that is why it's at number two so number two is season nine episode 15 so for number one it was a real why it's at number one and it's number one it's season nine it, episode 5 Rick's Sacrifice and you had to put this moment because this was a real big moment in season 9 so with Rick with the inclusion of the cliffhanger of episode 4 with him his journey through having hallucinations and trying to get this hurt to figure out what he's going to do with her take this herd to the bridge and he thought, well, crap, the, the bridge just stayed steady because he thought if he took it a lot, there was a lot of other herd. He figured the weight of it will give out. And then seeing his con, his friends, his family, and them going to try and take out the herd. And pretty much his last minute when he saw the dynamite, he's like, well, if I don't do this, there's going to be a lot of my friends and family is going to die. And this herd is going to go through hilltop. I just have to do something. And he sacrificed himself. And he blowed up the bridge. But a lot of, of the. For all the people that cared for him. Thinks he's actually dead. But in reality he ain't. And that right there. Was a really big emotional scene. To uh, see. And it's just look back on and all that stuff so that is number one is season nine episode five so i hope you guys enjoy this video that is my top 10 of my favorite scenes through season nine and through season 10 so far let me know in the comments below what your favorite scenes them season nine and season 10 so far and if you guys want me to do more like this, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, um, you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell for you guys to keep up with new videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video.